हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ब्लॉक प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस हाउ टू मेक अ एसीओ डायनेमिक लाइक वी आर क्रिएटेड एडमिन साइड वन पेज इन पेज आफ्टर वी आर डिड लाइक हियर इज अ डायनेमिक सपोज यू गोइंग टू लॉग इन यू आर गोइंग टू रजिस्टर सो वी हैव मेक डायनेमिक्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कवर लाइक अ लॉग इन एज अ यूजर बिकॉज आई नीड टू वर्क इन साइड कमेंट सपोज आई एम गोइंग टू पी एस पी टूटोरियल इन साइड आई गो टू रीड मोर सो हियर इज अ कमेंट पार्ट इज अवेलेबल राइट so this comment part inside we need to log in the user after he can make a comment like this we can do so how it's possible so first of all we need to short out like a user login works suppose you are going to login screen after do you want to log in as a user so how you can do it so and also what's the admin part what's the like a user part we can divide using the role management system like a middle way wise so i can show you how we can do it okay so first of all i have a lots of user there i have removed all the users first of all i verify my email address for these users and also i have active the users so i need to log in for these users user at the rate gmail.com and i know my password 123456 okay so i log in now 123456 and i just click on the login so you can see i have a login here you can see my username showing account setting need help sign out and here you can showing the users category block page help input inbox but it is the same as the users okay so means same as the admin not users so user need to access like only dashboard only blocks okay only inbox like this help also we can leave it for the users we can use futures inbox we can leave it for him because he need to give the answer like this but he don't need to do like uh, users no need to do like categories so we can remove for him we don't want to do for the users and let's start let's start before you are new in this channel or in this series so please press the subscribe button and please press the bell icon so whatever video we are uploading so you can get the notification you can start immediately new thing learning and i hope you can understand what i say okay so let's start now and i can show you step by step how we can do it and do you want to buy any script so you just go to errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy script whatever do you want to likes okay so let's start now So first of all, we need to check what we have did inside a middleware. So routes web dot php. So here you can see like a middleware, like an admin user. You can see it like a both one can use for this one. Admin user means both. Okay. Now I am going to edit. Sorry, app inside need to go to middleware. Inside you can see it like a middleware name auth middlewares. Let me go to like kernel dot php. So you can see it here. Kernel to PHP inside you can see it auth middleware. So this is the middleware inside we have did. So admin user means this is the only for use like a both like admin can use and also you can use like a users. So now we need to create a new middleware like a admin middleware. So how you can create? Right click new file also create. Otherwise you you can use like a terminal. So what do you want to use terminal? So just open your projects. Inside need to go terminal. and here you need to write like a command let me zoom out so you can see it clearly and here command there php artisan make middleware and here do you want to write your middleware name so my middleware name is like a here there like a auth middleware so we can write like a admin middleware so admin after you can make like middleware this is the whatever do you want to like name you can do it your way but i like it like middleware so we know okay this is the admin this is the user this reasons after just press the enter taking few seconds after is a middleware created okay don't worry about that error this is the my php warning error <laughs> because i have no time this is i have not solved but it is working so i have not take much time okay so i don't see okay don't worry about that here you can see it middleware successfully created where is the created also it told you the path but i you can see it here admin middlewares okay just go inside and open the auth middleware please carefully watch what i am doing just you can copy use auth and you can put here this is the first step second step you need to copy all things and just put inside here just you can remove okay So first we have copy inside auth middleware inside we have copy and I put here. But now we need to make here another another condition. If auth users 
is admin is equal to is equal to one so going to here otherwise else part we can log out him like a auth log out and we can redirect to home page so i hope you can understand what i say so first of all is admin means uh, database column name is is admin like a uh, one year there so is admin so i can access otherwise not so is going to else part and log out now we need to declare this middleware inside a kernel because everything code access inside kernel so you can see it last time we did like admin so same thing you can copy paste and you can change here and you can change here like a admin okay so it's done it's very simple very easy we have created new files after file inside we have did like a coding about the admin codes and after we declare inside middleware now our main part this is the admin words you can copy and you can go to web.php so we need to start new middleware so just copy and paste and you can change here like a middleware calling so this is the here admin routes we don't want to change dashboard so dashboard you can leave it same routes but users we don't need here so leave it here okay so just you can leave it here category we don't want to do both access so just for admin so copy and cut and paste here blog we can leave it because blog also he can create and i am also create means admin also create and he is also create so leave it here same thing page he can't create so we can copy and leave it here okay it's very simple whatever access for the admin just put here all the routes and whatever access for both one just put here routes okay let's go back again and we can refresh the page so just refresh the page so you can see dashboard is working suppose i am click the users so meaning about this the user so he is automatic logout let's see i just click so you can see automatic logout because of middleware checking like admin middleware where are you go suppose this is the routes is there like admin user list panel user list so he checking this is the admin middleware like a alias so he's going to here and he can checking handle where are you go so he can check in okay login is good but he ever no admin is equal to zero is admin is equal to not zero means not one so you can't go inside you are a zero so he's going to else part and log out okay so let's log in again users let's log in first admin so you can see it is access everything so i just go to admin at the .coms and logins and i can go to user list you can see it he not log out is working very well because of he have access inside a middleware means of the this is the one type of role management so what do you want to make like access for the role okay this is the user role like this admin role like this so but permission work is a different way of work permission work i can create for this video like uh, in this project also i can explain how to work permission but here is not permission it is a role so what do you want to give this is a user this access and another user this access so he can do it like this okay is always work middleware wise let's log in as a users at the gmail.com and i can do like enters so you can see is login this is the static data you know me know so we don't want to remove once we can work inside dashboards after we can change here also here static data so we don't want to remove but now we don't want to show users no need to show category no need to show page and help and inbox you can leave it here okay so let's go back again and you can go to resources views inside you can see backends inside you can see layouts inside you can see sidebar.php okay so here you can see it like a users blogs category so whatever do you want to show you can show like a, here just need to make condition if auth user is admin is equal to, is equal to one okay and here we can do it like a and if so let's go back refresh let's go back and refresh the page so you can see it here not showing now user tab you can see this is the only for admin same thing category we don't want to show so just make here and if here uh, blog we can leave it we need to show him let's scroll down page we don't want to show him so just you can put here condition and if okay so whatever do you want to know show just you can put like this condition help we have not developed so you can leave it here and inbox we have not developed so leave it here okay because this is the also need to access so he can 
he need any help so you can go inside he can do it so let's go back again and if there's the page so you can see it here now your dashboards blocks help and inbox other part is removed from the user sites let's click on the blog list okay so this is the blog created by who is like an admin so we don't want to show this blog also for this user because he need to add new and he can create own blocks we don't want to show like anyone can create his block so simple you can go to panel inside you can see like block controller i think here there you can see blog list otherwise do you want to follow this step how you can go just just go to routes inside go to panels sorry web.php inside you can see it like a panel slash blog slash list you can see it this is the urls and after you can go inside like block control inside blocks let's close let's close let's close i don't want to need anything and just open the block controllers block control inside you can see it like get record one function we have created before so just go to block models inside you can see it get records let's scroll down so here you can see it so what we can do here we need to make here condition if auth please carefully watch users is admin not is equal to one suppose is not one so going to inside and we need to make query like a blog dot user id and his id same so just very simple and very easy just in copy and you can put here and you can put here id okay so let's save these files and just go back and refresh the page mm, okay it has generated the one error because we are using the auth here but we have not declared this auth so just go to up and you can declare here use auth because we are using the auth library okay it's very simple just go up and you can use here auth and also you can make condition auth i think do you want to like not like i don't know i always make condition auth check is not empty and and you see so it's good is not empty also is equal to not is equal to one so it's going to inside so let's save these files and just go back and refresh the page you can see it class not found but now it's working very well no issue you can see let's click on the add new one and i click on categories and just create uh, desktops images and i click on the one images and choose anyone i like this black dogs let's choose another and i can copy for the same here whatever do you want to write description i don't need let's type like a test and here i can type like this keywords published active and i click on the submit buttons okay so you can see is a block successfully created it is working also you can see your username but this username also we don't want to show for this user this is the only for admin so how we can remove just go to user list like a blog list inside a blocks inside a list dot blade dot php and here you can make condition same like we have did inside sidebar so let's go to layouts inside a sidebars and just copy this line otherwise do you want to type you can type and here you can type like a and if same thing go scroll down and you can also type here and here you can make like a and if sorry just taking time i know but we need to provide a proper solution how you can do it this reason i am doing slowly okay just and if okay let's go back and refresh the page so we can see it here so you can see the username is removed also username here is a removed same thing you can go edit and you can do it your one you see it so it's working very well suppose this is the post you want to see in live so just go to now what is your title php tutorial category so let's click on the php tutorial so you can see it your one this is your post also you can see it, your name click on the read more so it's going to inside also you can see it category counts everything is working very well so here is a related you are showing you see like two posts there so your one showing also same 
another one because this is the one post swing but is uh, like uh, the scrolling wise is this region is a looping so it's the same post two time showing okay so it's not issue so i hope you can understand what i explained here like a uh, blog list how to divide like user wise what is the condition about role management so everything i have explained now and do you have any question about this one like uh, how to make role wise middleware create so please comment out and next video we can continue about comment because now user can log in he can create his blogs and also he can see it is a blog live so now he can make a comments and once make a comment so we can show like this comments and we can try to finish as soon as possible for this projects and uh, thank you for watching error solution